you're on the Gulf Coast, you have to be prepared for the potential for hurricanes to be stronger because of, of uh, warmer oceans, more fuel. You have to be prepared for heat waves to be more intense or frequent and for heavier rains to be heavier. And all these things we're seeing happening. But you also have to be prepared for once in a while you could get a full-on winter storm like we just saw. It may not be eight inches of snow in New Orleans again in our lifetimes, but it could happen or it might happen somewhere else along the Gulf Coast. One of the problems with climate change is that we have to be ready for an expanding envelope of conditions. Since the 70s, uh, this is really the first snow of this magnitude we've seen. So that's been uh, 50 years now. So certainly most people in Houston have never seen a snow like this, uh, even though uh, there was one in 1973 on par. Uh, when you go over to Louisiana, Florida Panhandle, uh, virtually everyone there has never seen a snow this hard. If something's a once in a century event, it's hard to get a computer model to replicate it. What happened this week in the Gulf Coast shows us uh, we can't ignore winter either. We still have to be prepared for winter. And that means being prepared for a, a large variety of conditions, unless we want to be uh, caught flat-footed. And that's kind of what happened in 2021 in Texas. The energy systems there were not prepared. You know, the gas pipelines were not hardened. Uh, other kinds of energy uh, transmission had challenges. But it really was a cross-the-board problem with just not being prepared for that level of cold.